PTC Creole Parametric 3.0. This is Lesson 1, Part 1. What we will do is divide the lesson into short pieces. In other words, the whole Lesson 1 will break up. And we're going to start off by doing the pin part here. And I've got the pages up on the right-hand side. And we'll refer back to those as we go through this. So we're going to start off with the pin, and the pin is 5 inches by 1 inch. Take a look at that. And we start off by selecting our working directory. Now this is very important. If your system has already been set up by your system manager or at school, you probably will not change this. I am going to change this into the directory I want to save into. And in this particular case, I'll click OK. And I'm going to go up to the ribbon on the top, very similar to Microsoft Windows. And we're going to click on New. And it's a part. And it's PIN. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of a different name to it because it's going in the same directory as a file already called PIN. So PTC will not allow you to do that, have the same name. It'll know that it's in the directory, and it'll stop you, ask you to put in a different type name. So we're just going to put pin 1 down here. Click on OK. We're going to use the default template. And what that's going to give us is our datum planes and our coordinate system. So what we want to do first of all is go to the View tab and click on the items that are toggled off. So we're going to have all our tags and our datum features. So you can see what happens when you turn on your and turn off. You toggle these on and off. So we want everything on in the very beginning. Now we're on the View tab. We want to go over to the Model tab. And we're going to pre-select. We, we can either give a command right now, for instance, extrude, and then select what we want to sketch on, or we can pre-select. In most systems, you can do one or the other. In Creo, you can do both. So I'm going to select the front datum plane click on extrude, and I'm going to hit my right mouse button, press it and hold it, and I'm going to go down and select circle. You'll see the pointer here. I'm going to go to the origin of the part, and it really doesn't make any difference how big I make this, because I'm going to alter it later. Now, I'm, I like to pull my cursor off the part before I finish it, which is middle mouse button, and you'll see that the dimension goes in and the circle is provided. We're not going to put this in a 2D view. We'll work in 3D. I'm going to double click on this and I know it needs to be one inch so I'm going to type in one and hit enter. Now I'm done with the first sketch. It's very simple. It's just a circular part. Right mouse button and I can click OK. Or I can go all the way up to the top here and click OK here. Doesn't make any difference. Now, it makes it 200 and some inches long, and we only want it to be 5. Type in 5, hit Enter. And then I'm going to pick on the check mark. I could also click Middle Mouse button or hit Enter. And here's my first part. It's very simple. Now, if we want to do a little bit extra on here, we could click on the edge of the part, right mouse button, and click on round or select round. We could also hold down our control key and select the opposite side. And middle mouse button or check to finish. So this is going to be a very short one, but we'll do a couple of extra things. Let's just take a look at the part. And let's go and click on the view tab and select a different color your palette may look a little bit different depending on your computer. So we'll select a new color. It changes the cursor into a paintbrush. And we're going to go select pin. And you'll see that there's a little tiny select dialog that comes up. You can click OK or you can click middle mouse button. So there is our first part. I'm going to select Control D from the keyboard. It puts it into triometric default projection. 
This concludes the very simple pin part for lesson one.